Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing how to te make your hamster stop biting basically. Um, happy Valentine's Day everyone and I've already got like four Valentine's but I've said no to all of them. Um, I should have done a video when I first started um, I watched a video that actually got my hands from biting, but I didn't because um, I didn't know how to do this and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, the first thing you want to do is, if you're a first timer, just do this. From my last video that I did, I think it was yesterday. Um. All you have to do is get a pencil. Um, I'm just gonna pick the page up. Um, cause I get on the bit. Um, I think I'll do this on the floor actually. Yeah, I think I'll do it on the floor. I think it's a lot easier. Get some of these. Stick stuff here, like, I'm going to show him, and then he's got to get out. Is this? Is this my doggy? Is my doggy? Calm down. Good boy. Come on, out. I've just got to quickly get him out, and then I'll get them. Hold on a bit. Okay. Get my cage down. Okay. <coughs> okay. Right. This is a good way. I've got four ways. No, three ways. Yeah. Hamster from biting. It's very good tips because they all work. I tried them all and they all work. It might not be very easy for you to see the cage. <coughs> okay. If you have this cage, then they should have, all cages have these kind of bars. Metal bars or plastic, well not plastic, but like white metal bars or just normal silver ones. Um, if I can find my pen. Some people say that Syrian hamsters are the most kind hamsters, but I don't really agree with them. I think teddy bear hamsters are. My hamsters are short hair teddy bear hamster. I've just found that out because I literally went to the pet stop yesterday. Uh, showed them my hamster. They said yours is a Syrian ham uh, teddy bear hamster. It was in the wrong cage. Um. So I said to them, they should really sort their services out which I shouldn't have said. And this is only pets for you. The lid won't go back on. Okay, so continue. Okay, right, the next thing you want to do is get a pencil and put it through the cage. Maybe wobble it a bit so your hamster knows it's there. And they should chew on it. All hamsters chew. Right. You just nicked it from me. 
Um, I'll just get it back. You have to keep doing this for a while. Give me my pencil back, thank you. And um, after they've chewed on it a bit and got used to it, just let it go and they can take it into the cage and chew it in there. Chew it then. Dip it. And she's taking it. Um, they will uh, chew it for a few days. Um, after a few days, just give them a fresh pencil. Don't ever give your hamsters um, tweaks. You have to buy the special ones from the store. But I read on the side of this that it's safe to use um, pencils. I don't recommend you use anything plastic. Just use pencils. It's the best thing that you could do for your hamsters to use pencils for them to gnaw on. Um, Um, yes, yeah, so that's basically it, but I'm going to show you one more time how to do that thing with the pencil because I looked at my video and it wasn't very clear. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Um, if you do it on the floor, just move any wires or anything on the plants of the tree that's very dangerous. Like wires. And then okay, that's perfect. Uh, the next thing you want to do is get a pencil. Let's get one of the sheep in the cage. Um, don't if you do train hamsters, use it to train hamsters to do circle or up. Um, always put treats on it. Otherwise, if you do make them do a circle and you don't give them a treat after, they might get a bit paranoid or depressed because hamsters always think if you that if you make them do a trick or something that after they'll get a treat and they will and they'll get petted and they probably will um, if you're if you think that you're not a very good um, pet owner like hamster owner my next video will be about how to be a good hamster owner and make sure you search it up otherwise um, you won't be able to find any of my videos because I do do videos that don't have like, the same title as like, others that you could regularly find so I type this in um, for this one how to teach your hamster to stop biting um, all you have to do basically is make them chew on this for a while and then pick them up and put it in your hand like that come up and put it in your hand and they'll chew this not your hand and finally after a few days of doing that you just pick them up in your hand and they should stop doing it because they'll know that your fingers are not pencils because they're softer they do know the difference between quite smart animals I'm just going to get sellotape, sellotape make sure it's, it's not um, it's the see-through sellotape not the plaster sellotape because 
plastic sellotape tape they can chew easily and probably swallow it and choke. Um, okay. Tear it. Only touch the end bit. Slip them off. And then only touch the end, other end of it. Be careful. Don't touch any other part. Not even in, don't touch the middle or anything, okay? Because your hamsters, the food won't stick on and your hamsters won't get any choice. Okay. And then you can only hold the bit that was folded. Okay, so basically, the camera will let me flip and do it. Um, the folded bit here. Come here. Oh yeah. Just get on the end of the pencil. Just stick it on the end, like so, like that. And then dip it in a bag and twirl it around. And that should come on. Come up onto it. Just like that. It doesn't really matter how many bits you get as long as there's stuff on there. Um, I'm going to do that again because that went terribly wrong. Because there isn't many treats on there. And if there isn't many, they'll probably chew the tele tape instead. So you have to make sure there's a lot on there. They won't. If they do chew the tele tape, just make sure you pinch really, really, really gently. Go like that to their little bits at the front of their mouth, do that, and they'll let go automatically. They won't bite you, trust me. I've done it before. Unless your hamster's a um, dwarf hamster, then they will. So be careful. Okay. Make sure it's slightly big. It needs to be like that bigger hole. Put it on the pencil like that, and then dip in. Well, it there you go. You got that on. Okay. Then you just put the pencil down and get your hands on it. I recommend you do this every three, two to three hours. Otherwise, your hamster won't get enough training time. And if you do go to any like, you do a competition or something on YouTube, then they won't, they won't like know anything. I'm watching you. Okay. Okay, the next thing you want to do is get your hands And just lead them around with it. Come on, come on. Do circle. Do circle. Come on, do circle. Good girl. Take one. Good girl. Come on, do it, circle, do it, circle, do it again, come on. Do it, circle. Do it, circle. Come on. Do it, circle. Come on. Do it, circle, do it, circle. Do it, circle, do it, circle. Do it, circle. And take one. Go. Do it, circle. Do it, circle. Do it, circle. And up. So up. Hello. Good girl. Okay, two more. Let's do it three more times. Come on then. Two circles. Two circles. Two circles. Two circles. Good girl. Take that one. Take it. 
Go do a circle, do it again, do a circle. Come over here. Come over here. Do a circle. Oh, come on. Wake up. Do a circle. Do a circle. Do a circle. And then take it. And take it. Do a circle. No, oh, that is pretty bad. Do a circle. Do a circle. And take it. Go down. Go down. Okay. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 Thanks for watching. Bye.